We have stories every single day, especially of women and children who are at risk, who are in flight. And those are the kinds of cases that Lamp Life Boat Ladder team members try and support on. Lamp Life Boat Ladder, the name comes from a poem by Rumi. And the poem is, be a lamp or a lifeboat or a ladder, help someone's soul to heal, go out of your house like a shepherd. So we all try and be shepherds. And the name was chosen by survivors in our project. We use the term survivor, not refugee, because most refugees say that the term is humiliating and shameful, makes them feel objectified, and they don't like to be associated with the word refugee. And so we use the term survivors because they have survived so much in their flight, where they are now, in camps, and even when they reach a destination country, still trying to rebuild their lives. So Lamp Lifeboat Ladder is built on five pillars. And the first is that it's a public-private partnership. Reed Smith has an MOU with the Government of Canada, and Canada allows us essentially to stand in the shoes of UNHCR and identify cases for resettlement. We develop those cases in the field. So right now we have projects in Greece and in Jordan. We also do cases in other parts of the Middle East. So we have a case in Europe, in, in Lebanon right now, for example. We build those cases and develop the histories, the narrative for each client. We have teams of lawyers in the field um, and we submit those cases to the government of Canada. If Canada approves the cases and so far we're undefeated, then the person is allowed to relocate to the country of Canada and we continue to support them and their family members for two years. Why two years? Because our clients are the most vulnerable individuals among the refugee population. We represent survivors of torture and survivors of sexual gender-based violence. Often a woman who has fled her country, a woman from Iran, for example, who has fled from Iran to Turkey to Greece, will have experienced not only violence in her country, whether it's forced marriage or child marriage or domestic violence or some other form of gender-based violence, but she then will experience more violence in transit. And then when she arrives in Greece as in a camp, it's very likely that she will experience more violence in Greece. So this triple trauma really means that she needs extra support, extra rehabilitation and extra help in order to get on her feet. The second pillar of our project is that it's privately funded. So we raise money from clients, from donors, from Reed Smith attorneys, um, from whoever we can find who's willing to support the idea of a public-private partnership to support individuals who cannot live safely in their country. So the third pillar of our project is that it's holistic. We immediately try and identify what their needs are. Do they need shelter? Do they need accommodation? Do, need, do they need medical care? Oftentimes, women from the Democratic Republic of Congo, for example, will arrive in Greece pregnant because they have been gang, rape, gang raped in their country, become pregnant, flee, and usually they're seven or eight months pregnant by the time they arrive in the islands. They then give birth. Often they have had no medical care. Sometimes they have been infected with contagious diseases. Sometimes their child needs specialized medical care. So we provide accompaniment and we help them organize that care. We will eventually develop legal cases for all of these women who are at risk, but we try and make sure that they're safe before we start working on their case. This is what Lamp Life Boat Ladder is. I do want to say that I'm super proud of our team. We have lawyers um, who speak 11 different languages. We work, as I said, in Europe and the Middle East right now, but the birth of this idea and this project was in Haiti many years ago, and many Reed Smith attorneys supported the project. Um, we have many Reed Smith attorneys who have joined us in the field, particularly from London. Just this summer, we had several attorneys from the UK office join us. We have attorneys in our offices in France and Germany, and of course, the United States as well. Lamp Life Boat Ladder is a completely unique model. It's a public-private partnership for refugee resettlement. Nobody else in the world is doing it. And I'm often on roundtable discussions where people are asking, how is Reed Smith doing this project? How are you getting your firm to do this project? Reed Smith has been a champion of these kinds of signature projects for as long as I've been at the firm, which is 21 years. And I'm, I can't say anything more than that I'm just so proud of the firm and I'm so proud of our teams because we're helping hundreds of people and have helped hundreds of people who otherwise would have no opportunity to rebuild their lives. I just want to add one other thing, and that relates to the way that our project is also unique because it's survival. Survivor led. So I explained how we don't use the word refugee, we use the word survivor. 
We have a survivor council in the project, which is comprised of 13 survivors of torture, and they teach us how to serve in the field. They teach us how to do our work. They teach us how to build our project. And so that's another aspect that we're really proud of and hope that you'll be able to learn and share with us.